here we have a U.S. Army major, uh, a Jewish U.S. Army major, has resigned over the United States military support for the Israeli government. He can see what the Israeli government is doing, and he is not for it. Exclusive interview with a Jewish U.S. Army major who resigned to protest U.S. support for Israel's war in Gaza. Until yesterday, Harrison Mann worked in the Middle East Bureau of the Defense Intelligence Agency. In his first TV interview, he tells Chief Investigative Correspondent Jim Axelrod why he can no longer serve in the Army. When the report started to filter in about a Hamas attack of Israel on October 7th, Former Army Major Harrison Mann knew what to expect. All hands on deck, people working late hours, you know, 24-7 at the outset. What was unexpected for him was Israel's response. We saw, even from the first days of the Israeli air campaign, willingness to inflict very high civilian casualties. A response... I mean, when you have the de defense minister... Uh, speaking about how they're going to siege Gaza and the Palestinians' food, water, and medical aid, that is a desire to inflict civilian casualties, let alone uh, the constant airstrikes that the Israeli government has been doing since October 7th, killing innocent civilians. Once this 13-year army vet working on Middle East issues for the Defense Intelligence Agency, says was enabled by U.S. weapons and indiscriminately targeted Palestinian civilians. Were the Israelis using American weapons against civilians in Gaza? I can say almost certainly yes. But were they doing so intentionally? I don't know how you kill 35,000 civilians by accident. Man res you, you don't you don't kill thirty five thousand plus civilians by accident. It's intentional when it's those numbers, uh, along with you know the openness of the Israeli government about using collective punishment and denying the Palestinians food. It is obvious what the Israeli government is doing here. They're killing innocent civilians, they're starving innocent civilians, and people can't deny that it's going on, but that just means you're a liar. Signed in November. This is your letter. No longer able to justify his work to himself, which he explained to his colleagues in a letter. At some point, whatever the justification, you're either advancing a policy that enables the mass starvation of children, or you're not. You felt your work was directly connected to starving children. Yes. Another U.S. government official announced today she has resigned to protest. More than a half dozen government officials have publicly resigned in protest of U.S. support for Israel's war. Man is the first from the military, the first from the intelligence community, and the first who's Jewish. I understand if people are... are are angry that I chose to speak about this, but I didn't really feel like I had that much of a, of a choice. The grandson of Jews who fled the anti-Semitism of Eastern Europe, man doesn't agree that the cry of never again that galvanized Jews after the Holocaust warrants the current Israeli response. They're not responding in a way. Yeah, there is a lot of Israelis and Jewish people who are tired of the idea of using the Holocaust to justify the Israeli government uh, doing whatever they want to Palestinians, they find disgust in it because they see the Israeli government basically acting like Nazis and using the Jewish identity to justify it. In a way that is productive for, for the security of the state of Israel or Jews worldwide. And I think using never again as a justification, I'm confident saying it's it's certainly, you know, some measure of, of ethnic cleansing, I do not think is in the spirit of 